and what made Arsenal's performance to go down. But we have the mentality of a champion. In the midfield, we were lacking. Balogun to Monaco. Everything has been agreed. And there were so many teams that were coming on board just to buy Balogun from Arsenal Football Club. Do you know what? But uh, on this transfer, I was thinking of... Um, we would have let him be at Arsenal. Why? Because we, we don't have a striker who is going to bang goals for us, like 20, 25. And when you look at Gabriel Jesus, I don't think if he's going to uh, to stay fit all the season. When you look also at Edin Ketcher, Edin Ketcher, yes, quite all right. He's a good, good, good player. But I don't expect him to... to to have such massive impact on this Arsenal squad. When you look at these two games, uh, they have been so many misses and chances have been created uh, for him, but still he cannot bang goals. Also for Gabriel Jesus, how many games he has played for Arsenal and he is always learning away from his uh, position, which is uh, being in the box. When uh, whenever Martinelli, Bukayo Saka, Martin Odegaard created goals for him, he, he doesn't score. He doesn't capitalize on those. So we don't need to suffer like we did. We need a striker who is going to be banging goals for us if we want to win the Premier League, if we want to win the UEFA Champions League. And uh, guys, I know some of you, you can tell me to say, oh, we have people who can score goals for us. We've got Gabriel Martinelli, we've got Bukayo Saka, we've got Martin Odegaard, and we've got Edin Ketia, Gabriel Jesus, also we've got uh, Odegaard. Yes, quite all right, but you know, some it's not all the time you can rely on these guys. We need also to rely on a striker. Look at Man City, they've got that robot whereby whenever the ball comes into the box, you always finish it off. That's what we need. So the selling of Balogun to Monaco, it's something unusual for me. And I, I really wanted Balogun to have a chance at Arsenal because he cannot just come from the academy, coming to the, uh, the first team without having uh, his first minutes or his first match for Arsenal. So it's something so unusual. We, I really wanted to see him in that Arsenal uh, squad. Because when I look at uh, uh, Edin Ketia and when I also look at uh, uh, Balogan, I think Balogan is better. And Edin Ketia has been offered so, so many chances by Mikel Ateta. But still, there is no that progress.